gosh. Oh my gosh. Do I need to get it or do I need to film? Please, please, please. I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my friend how are you hi buddy i'm about to punch my first hole of the 21 22 ice season i'm so excited have you been all these months that people have been asking me i moved to idaho but that doesn't mean we're not gonna fish together <laughs> i don't know why people think we're like divorced yeah <laughs> our fishing relationship isn't ending we're not getting a fishing divorce there we go thank you nicole's flying out to fish with me i'm obviously here in minnesota a bunch of times like if anything, the fishing's just gonna get better because we've got more region to explore now. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> she did it. How did it feel? So good. So you guys, on a day like today, when it's hole hopping is absolutely critical, we're just trying to figure out where these fish are in the basin. Having a float suit that keeps you super warm is everything. I am finally rocking my new Arctic Appeal suit from DSG and I am so warm and as you can hear the wind is whipping it's going to be like 10 degrees Nicole in yeah, like cold. the next couple hours and I'm completely toasty warm so definitely get yourself a really warm nice float suit and Arctic Appeal from DSG love it yes. We are struggling right now to get our heater going and we kind of got a fix because we just took a wrench to it, which seems to always be the trick, but uh, then it blew out and here we are 20 minutes later still trying to get our heater going. How's it going? Oh, it's just super, you know? It's like all the technicalities that come along with ice fishing. Lula this one's pretty miss. critical. <laughs> it's like 10 degrees outside, we need this. the top there on Boop. the board on the board Again. now they're feeding a little bit better it's been real slow slow going here for a minute but what did you catch it on um just a little fly jig and nice. i've been downsizing 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 so i'm just i have a, a swivel on there too because i feel like any movement is not what they want they just want to troll dead stick so no spinning no spinning allowed they're like right above the junk now. The junk. Look at all the zooplankton, you guys. It's unbelievable. I just a shallow over there. I just come that way. That one looks big. Yep. Nice. Feel good? Yeah. Um, just all of a sudden was on my line. Thank yep. God I was watching that because. Is it big? I don't know, Nicole. No, it's not. It's tiny. <laughs> Thought it was maybe, but I got that one on the fall. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Sounds nicer. I don't Is know. it? They fool me. They all fool me. They all fool me. Maybe. I feel like the baby ones are putting up way more of a fight yeah. <laughs> than anything sizable that we've caught. Now you guys look at my minnow swimming and look at Anna catching. Just kicking my feet up and slaying. Got some good eaters too. Oh, 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 oh. Is this oh. a little nicer one? Oh, uh, he was coming up easy and now all of a sudden. No. It's the same. Same. Food. Food. That's a dead fish blown eyes. Yeah. To the dinner pan. That's what happens when you fish deep. It happens. It happens. All right, you guys. So here is my stone panfish box and I have it loaded with tungsten toads, which we are using today. Um, I just lost a really nice fish on one. Really nice crappie. This was the first one to behave this way. It came charging in, hammered my line. I was using a tungsten toad, um, just the crappie minnow, really letting that minnow hold the action. And then I have the precision noodle, which I love this rod and it's a killer bluegill rod, but I really think it's lacking a little bit of backbone when you hook into those bigger fish because it's just got so much bend. Um, the drag was running, I lost it. Now I'm gonna switch out to the uh, tune up custom rod bull whip just for a little extra power because we are going for those bigger fish. Got one. Oh, finally. He did not even bump it. Like it was. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds nicer. Please don't get off. Nicole. This might be a little bit better one. Like I don't think it's no 16, but oh, it's a. It's a big. <gasps> the 
it's like a 14. Oh 15. my gosh, that's huge. All right, you guys. Finally got a big one. This thing was with a pile of fish and he came up and he hammered it. We were getting all the same cookie cutter ones and finally hammered a giant. Um, got it on the Lindy Tungsten Toad. You guys know this is my favorite all fall. Could not be more thrilled to be using it out here. Um, and it works. That's a beast. All right, let's let this beast. Oh, it's a bass. All right, just caught a tanker and Anna is gonna switch to what I'm using, which you guys can guess is... The tungsten toad. The tungsten toad. <laughs> See it. you later, little fly jig that I was using. Woohoo! I was downsizing, downsizing, and now it's like, all right, the big ones are coming in. I'm gonna switch it up. Can you show really small? Like that's like probably much more of a wax worm size, but I am gonna size up and do I don't know. I might do, I might do white or maybe I'll do a little chartreuse guy, but I'm excited. I like it. Perfect. Yeah. That extra side, a little extra bigger hook helps. Hook Absolutely. Oh, you're so good. We have a blast today, pounding the crappies. We had so much fun. I'm like, I'm like d exhausted from all the catching. <laughs> oh, hey, my Garmin got back, so it keeps going. Oh, there's a fish coming in. There's a high flyer. Oh. There is a massive mark on Holy, the... leave it down while we pack. No, that's, that's our trophy. Broken. I don't leave mine down. Yeah, there's some fish down there now. Oh, there's a big one right there. Surged Surged you. It's gonna smoke me. Please eat. Please. That's Nicole. a nice one. This is a nice one. Nicole, <laughs> this is a nice one. Please I know it is. I think it. you're no. wrong. Gosh, oh my gosh. Do I need to get it or do I need to please, film? Please, please, please. I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Oh. 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 Sure might be what? Oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. Look at that thing. Oh my god. the biggest crappie of my life back in the water where it belongs because that Goodbye. needs to go make babies. <laughs> oh, wrong way. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you don't want to leave? Are you sure? Are you sure? Go, go. Woo. <laughs> I might get a replica of that fish. That was insane. <laughs> Yeah, it's longer than the cooler, so yeah, the angle. Yeah, definitely longer than the cooler. Um, we're not forgetting the tape measure next time, so we don't have to measure fish on a piece of tape. <laughs> Woo! I'm ready to... Oh, no, she's got a fish. Um, we are about to pack up, and, uh, and now she's reeling in another one. And all of a sudden, there's a huge mark on my screen. Oh, that's a nice one too, Nicole. They're getting way bigger. They are. You should get your mark on. Um, you guys so we had a killer day fishing we're out here we're fishing in 47 feet these fish are suspended obviously we did kill a few that were deeper we kept gonna go make some crappie tacos and yeah i'm really excited to have on back for a bit i'm gonna see her again next week so you guys better stay tuned for that <laughs>